Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we are going to be covering yet another topic about Powerline, but one that we have not touched on before in the past. We're going to talk about the flexibility of Powerline for deploying networking to a large home. Now, there are solutions such as powerful wireless routers in order to achieve networking throughout your home. However, if you guys watch this show, you probably know I am not a huge fan of wireless. It is subject to interference, it is slow, and it is just plain not great for gaming, which is obviously important to me because of the high ping times. So we're going to be using multiple power line adapters in order to reach a broader space inside a larger building with reliable, still hardwired networking. We'll be focused on two pieces of hardware in particular. We've got the PLSK400 as well as the PLEK400. These are two different power line kits that only have a subtle difference and they actually work together with each other. You'll also need a router for any home network, but it's not tied down to a Linksys one, even though that's what we have on display next to the Linksys power line adapters. Now, the difference between the EK and the SK is that the SK includes one adapter that has a four port switch built into the bottom. This is ideal for situations where at one end of your power line network you have multiple devices such as you might find in a home theater where you got your blu-ray player your smart tv your media pc whatever else is over there the other ones the ple 400 only has a single port so this is what you might use more like in a situation where you have a single computer in a basement or in an attic or somewhere far removed from the rest of your network and you need to get a connection to it in the time while the camera's been off, we have deployed not one, not two, not three, but four power line adapters all around the Tech Tips room in the building here on different circuits. And I'm going to take you guys on a little tour of what we have deployed. So here under the TV, and this part's critical, we have plug plugged the power line adapter directly into the wall. You should always plug a power line adapter directly into the wall, not behind a surge protector, because those can cause interference and cause it to not work, although I have seen it work through power bars. We have then plugged that into our E4200 router, and follow me. So the rest of our networking goes through the walls, and we are using the SK SKU, so this is the one with the built-in switch, over here. So this is going to be providing networking to up to four devices. In this case we have our test bench PC which is one of these two, probably this one. We've got a KVM here so uh, here we go. Why don't we just see if we can load up a web page just to demo that it actually does work. So there we go and then if we switch over to our video editing machine which is down there we're going to see that we, oh, we're also connected to a network here, moving right along. So here we're going to transition over to a completely different circuit. And, aha, so I'm going to do two demos here. One of them is going to be to plug this notebook into a different circuit via power line. And then show the streaming of a 720p HD video using power lines. So once again, we are plugged directly into the wall. Power line adapters are a lot better than they used to be in that they don't require the uh, same amount of space around them because they don't kick off nearly so much heat. So there is our HD video streaming and watch this. This is going to blow away you. Oh, you know what? We unplugged the microwave. Oh, well. Uh, but it would work even with the microwave plugged in because unlike wireless, there isn't nearly the same degree of interference. You can see how quickly that worked. And yeah, see, we're not cheating. As soon as I unplug the network, it does stop playing. Um, I'm going to show you guys how seamless it is to set up an additional power line node. So watch this. This one with zero configuration whatsoever. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to plug it into my wall. And I'm not saying you should necessarily carry around a power line kit with you everywhere because that's kind of abnormal. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it a couple seconds. 
We have a network connection already with zero configuration, just finds the other stuff. I'm going to play my video file again, and bam, we have a reliable network. Now, Powerline does have a couple disadvantages. It is susceptible to interference from crummy house wiring. So particularly if you live in Europe and your house wiring is really old, or even in North America and your house wiring is really old, you might have trouble with Powerline uh, if other high draw devices such as your dryer are turned on. But in general, the ping times, the transfer transfer rates and everything is so much better than wireless that you should pretty much be using it unless you absolutely need wireless, such as if you're using a device like a smartphone or a tablet. So thank you for checking out this Powerline episode on NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite online retailer, NCIX.com.